Hey man, um, hey, so so yeah, man, um, this is let's see what these white women talk about. Um, it looks computer generated. Uh, but yeah, I am going to the hospital. I feel like I'm probably want to get an update on getting punched in the face. I said I was done fucking crying on the internet. Here I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am going to the hospital. I feel like I'm probably. I literally just got punched by some man on the sidewalk. He goes, sorry, and then punches me in the head. Holy fuck, what the hell is happening? I want to get an update on getting punched in the face. I said I was done. I also got punched in the face in New York City. This was four months ago, but I've been seeing all these videos, and one of the women posted a video of the attacker walking away, and he looks so similar to my attacker. I made a police report when it happened. The cop was so unhelpful. He was even arguing with me about which side of the face I got punched on. Um, it was a, it was the strangest, most disheartening interaction I've ever had with law enforcement. Not that I've interacted that much, but I was looking for help and he made me feel worse and he wouldn't even take my report at first. He wanted me to file online. I'm like, no, I'm literally here in the precinct talking to you, like, please take my police report. Anyway. I didn't trust that he did anything. And in fact, I don't think he did. The next day I went to the location where I got punched. I got punched. I was walking home. I had just turned the corner after leaving my friend. Um, I was walking alone. I was totally aware. I was not drunk. I was not on my phone. Um, I was walking home in a busy area on 13th Street and University Place outside the Regal Movie Theater. And I'm walking past in the skies. I didn't even have time to register. The door of the movie theater opens. I'm on the sidewalk, like near the curb, near the street. He walks out. By the time I see him, like literally push the door open, rushed out the door. By the time I see him, he was swinging for my face. So I know it like, here's the street. Here I am at the curb. Here's the door of the movie theater. He rushes out out of nowhere, just punches me in the face. I fall onto a car. If the car wasn't there, I would have fallen onto the street. So thank freaking god the car was there i look up i'm so disoriented i look up and he I like look at him for a second remember he kind of remember away, goes by a car picks up a cigarette that was on the floor and then just walks away he crosses the street like into traffic and then he just like stomps away like as fast as he could walks across the street there's a group of people maybe like two feet from where i was like six people in a circle talking they didn't do anything. I walked up to them after I got punched. I was like, did you guys see that? And they looked at me like they were scared of me. I was terrified. I was <laughs> so shaken up. I was concussed. I went to the doctor after and I had a concussion for weeks. I couldn't go to the gym. I couldn't do a lot of things. It was really whatever. I'm so thankful that that's all that happened to me, that I got a concussion only after all of that. I just say you a ton man hit you in two minutes and 35 seconds. Do you notice how easy it is to tell what happened when you're telling the truth as opposed to that white bitch coach from earlier? When something really happened, you can just say it. There's no ums and uh and all this vague shit. She just clearly told the story of what happened. And I believe her. White women are the most unprotected. Shout First out to them one. for being the tip of the spear. White women have made themselves the most unprotected. It's their fault. But I'm not I'm not saying that it's anybody's fault but them. I'm just saying that white women are the end result of whatever the fuck is, they are the most unprotected. And they and they'll still tell you that it's the black woman that's the most unprotected. That's the irony. Black women live in these communities, okay. they have they have good um self-awareness. Of course, they have, they have, um, they have good, um, um, what do you call it? Situational awareness. They breed these guys that are doing this. They're married to these guys that are doing it. They have children with these guys that are doing it. These white women are literally have no clue that half this stuff goes on until they get punched in the face. They're just living their white life. And some sun man comes up and socks him in the face or drags him out of the dumpster and rapes him. <laughs>
I mean, fundamentally, there's really little difference between getting attacked by a sun man and a sun woman. I mean, often it's almost exactly this. You remember that sister that smacked the shit out of that woman in the pet store or whatever, like knocked her to the floor with one hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's worse getting attacked You're getting by hit by a silverback either way. Trust me. It's worse getting hit by a sun man. Trust me. Trust me, Jack. You don't want to get hit by a sun man while you're not looking, while you're not paying attention and shit. I'm like shaking, uh, trying to tell this story. Um, but if you know me, I don't, um, I don't share my personal life on the internet, um, especially things that are, are traumatic. Um, but too many videos have been made about what's going on for me not to speak out. Um, I was punched in the head uh, in New York City on Saturday, March 23rd. Um, in Times Square. Um, I was walking out of the Times Square station, uh, train station, and um, a random man came up and punched me in the head. Um, thankfully, I, I'm not as hurt as the girls uh, that you've seen, the videos that you've seen. Um, I, I'm a little bit sore, but thank God it wasn't worse than that. Um, but it was definitely a traumatic experience, and it's something that is going to stick with me um, for the rest of my life now. Um, but I, uh, you know, I, I can't believe that this is happening. Um, I have a video of the guy uh, because when I ran away from him, there were these three women um, on the street that helped me. Shout out to those moms from Connecticut. I don't know where you guys are, but I'm so grateful that you guys were there at the moment because I don't think I could have done that alone. Um, but I turned around at the moment and he was running after me and he ended up just like walking down the avenue and I ended up taking a video. Um, I did <laughs> there it is. And, uh, there is an ongoing investigation right now. Um, but you know, to the three or four girls that I've seen so far um, on TikTok that have reported similar incidents. Um, I think that we should exchange our stories. It you you be believe her bad. story, Ak? Um, yeah, definitely. truly unacceptable. And Anyone would say she got punched by a black dude on the street, I believe. Anyone. In New York City to oh, women in general. Just Take that on credit. Need to feel safe. I mean, we're always cautious about walking at night. But now we have to be cautious about walking in broad daylight. And uh, maybe cautious about walking around certain people. In the of the day in broad daylight. <laughs> And that's something that's really scary. Um, so, I'm like shaking. Uh, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, hey, yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, real quick, there, there was a lot of those girls that were on, when I saw this, I saw it on Twitter. And a lot of the girls, they literally tried to make conspiracy theory to say it's just one man doing it to them. And they, I mean, so I mean, they're so delusional. They wanted to pretend there's like a one attack, and it's like, yo, don't, don't, don't front. Yeah, yeah it's multiple. Listen, <laughs> man. I, listen, man. You, the, the, the DC, you have this, you have this everywhere, man. Is it not, am I saying it's fucking the the Carl Winslows and the Philip Bankses of the world and the Heathcliff Huxtables of the black community doing this? No. But it's still black guys doing it. Yeah, it don't matter. Um, salute, man. Um, if y'all want me to continue, man, let's get the five dollar challenge going. Or I gotta get out out of here, man. Um, we not getting no support tonight. We showing these white women getting getting. Um, we, we at least you would think white women would support the channel tonight. Oh, no, the <laughs> fuck? That's fucked up, right? <laughs> we um we we um. You don't get this nowhere. There's like there's not a channel on YouTube. I watch all the shows y'all watch. I watch all the videos y'all watch. We all watch the same shit, man. We all watch the same shit. It ain't nowhere you can get this shit, man. We got beg for likes. We got beg for support. It's crazy, man. But salute to everybody that does have a channel membership. I'll at least give y'all that, man. Salute to everybody that spent $3.99 on the channel membership for the month. Make sure you renew your channel memberships every month, man. 